Yeah, we're here in the clinical proteomics group uh, at CPR, and our main uh, mission here in the group is to use mass spectrometry-based proteomics to profile human diseases at the protein level. So we're using state-of-the-art technology and continuously uh, developing new methods uh, to extract proteins out of uh, basically patient samples, and in particular, we're interested in FFB uh, tissues uh, as they are a very good uh, indicator of uh, the disease state in the patient, and we can use them for molecular profiling of, of the patient diseases. So for, in particular for the tissue work, for these FFPE samples that are formalin cross-linked and embedded in paraffin, it's very challenging to extract the proteins simply because of this cross-linking and because of this contamination with paraffin. We need very efficient workflows that allow us to extract protein at the highest purity for our downstream applications. Current workflows, we have been using a lot. Um, we use a combination of uh, heat-induced antigen retrieval and also homogenization. And this is in particular important for the decrosslinking of the tissue. But we further want to improve that in the future to have a system that um, is very reproducible and works also in 96 well format. This is exactly where the Covars collaboration was very helpful for us because we developed a new protocol that allowed us to streamline the 96 well work with FFPE tissues and we can also now apply it to uh, samples that have not yet been deparaffinized and that is a very important uh, aspect of, of this collaboration and of this Covars uh, system and the protocol we were using in the lab. We want to uh, go down with the input materials so we started in, in the last uh, let's say a couple of years we worked a lot with uh, bigger areas of the tissue maybe 50,000, 100,000 cancer cells for example but in the future, we want to go to maybe hundreds of cells. Uh, and that uh, basically means that we also have to adjust the settings in the Corral system. So we want to, first of all, work in a 96 well uh, fashion, but also in very low volumes. And then still being able to extract proteins is very challenging. And that's where we think we can um, use the Corral system uh, quite nicely in the future.